<clears throat> oh, I got a frag in my throat. Oh, hello, people. Is Christian Rock okay? Well, if you've seen my video on Christian psychology is a lie, it's very similar. So I'm going to use a passage here in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, start with verse 14 down to 17. I'm going to explain it, then say a few things. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness? And that righteousness there, I believe it's 1443. It, it refers to the righteousness of God according to God's standards. With unrighteousness, and what com communion has light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Belial? The word concord there is where we get our English word symphony from and it simply means the blending together or in symphony the blending together what musical instruments so what Paul is saying here and what blending together what ties what even in musical ties has Christ with Belial or what part has he who bleeds with a infidel and what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. If you look the word walk up there in the concordance, it's the only place in the entire Bible where the word walk comes from the number 17. 04 meaning to occupy to draw among to to abode is the only place it's strange that's why i was interested in that word when i was looking for different definitions for a word the word walk is totally separate from all the other words walk in this verse it's the only place where where walk is 1704 to occupy to to, to abode among is, is in this verse so I will draw among them and walk in them, will draw among abode, and I will be their God, and, and they shall be my people. But the next line, the next verse shows this is based on a conditional promise. Wherefore, come out from among them and be separated, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You cannot take worldly, ungodly, music change it by adding christian lyrics to it and call it christian music it's not inspired music of the holy spirit it's worldly music that's pleasing to the flesh that you can swing to and enjoy yourself in the flesh and and call it the moving of the holy spirit it's blaspheming it's ungodly and it's unholy. It's nothing more than you entertaining yourself in the flesh. There's a lot of Christian songs that are fast and upbeat and praise God for it. God wants us to enjoy our music. But music, the basic purpose for music, if you look at biblical history, is to worship God by, not to entertain you. It might entertain you and praise God it does. Don't get me wrong. Praise God you enjoy it. But when you take in worldly, ungodly, rock and roll beat and just adding Christian lyrics to it, it's not of God. It's still the same worldly rock and roll beat, the rock and roll music, just putting Christian, Christian lyrics to it, and it's not anointed of God. It's nothing more than placing the flesh by bringing a little bit more of the world system into the house of God. It's not of God, and there's no such thing as Christian hip hop, uh, Christian rock and roll, and all these other ungodly lyrics that are putting Christian from it. I went on to uh, tunes, and you know, I was checking out music. You know, I tried to download it, and I seen uh, Christian's okay, so I went to it. 
Christian rock, Christian hot pop, all, all this, all this stuff. And it's not Christian music. It's ungodly. Like I said in my other video, just because you put Christian in front of something, it don't give it the entitlement of being okay. It's not of God, people. This Christian rock that is in the church today is nothing. It actually came in from my my eyes. From what I have deal because it draws the younger crowd. They thought the old folks are they boring, so, so, so they want something more upbeat to draw the younger people in. So, so they brought this music into the church, and it's not of God. There's no anointing upon it. It's not pleasing to God, but it pleases the flesh on it. It entertains you. But, but it's not godly, and God is not into it. And we should recognize this and get it out of the house of God. There's a lot of Christian music that is upbeat, that is worshiping music. You know, not all songs have to be slow. So don't, don't, don't get me wrong here. I believe in lively music. But this thing called Christian rock, it's not godly music. It's things of the world that you're twisting by mentioning the word Jesus on it and calling it godly music. And it's not. It's things of the world. It's not edifying to Christ. And it draws you farther away from Christ in your spiritual walk. It's just more of pleasing the flesh, pleasing self, and putting a title to it that you think is pleasing to God. And it's not. It's a short video. Well, what more can I say about it? What is right and right, what is wrong and wrong, is there's no such thing as Christian right. Look at a lot of your, I did a short study on it, but go ahead and check sometime. Are these singers that are singing this and look deeply into their background. And you can see what they do. A lot of these ladies, that are singing these gospel so-called songs, the crowds will shout, take your shirt, and then they do, they take their shirt off. You don't see what really goes on until you study some of these people you are following history. Look at their backgrounds. Not only in their religious beliefs, as far as pastor and teacher, but especially these singers that are singing. It's all money-making thing hiding behind Christianity, and it's not godly. And I think deep down in the dark corners of your mind, if you're honest with yourself, you also know there's no such thing as Christian rock. It's on godly music. It's just bringing up things and elements of the world into the body of Christ and putting a different title on it. It's no different than what the Catholic Church did when Rome opened up her doors. Because Rome is in the time of falling. To open their doors up to everyone. And what did the pagans bring in? All their idols. When the Catholic Church kind of get them to change their ways or, or throw away the idols, they said, okay, you can keep them, but, but, but call them by this name. They just change the names of it. Like the mother, just for example, as with Christian Rock. You take you walk, go by a church and see Mother Mary Hone and Baby Jesus. It's not Mother Mary Hone and Baby Jesus. The Samarium, if I pronounce the name right, holding a reincarnation of Nimrod. Read the Babylonian call. Many things you see today that church are practicing and have are right from the Babylonian call that just came down through history. And it's pretty easy to be traced. And it's the same way the Rocky Mirror Moon, so you can't change it by putting a different title to it and call it Christian. It's not of God. Thank you for your time. I hope for some this has been helpful. And God bless.